Look at me. I am the captain now. Sometimes when we play this game, I think to myself, wow, we've really gone too far this time. And then I read something in the comment section. And I think, evidently, I haven't gone far enough. Welcome, Rim Rooms, back to Rim Rim World, where today we're going to lobotomize a spider, as suggested by the people in the comment section. Uh, I'm somewhat concerned. Low boto Low bot. Hmm. We want to be able to lobotomize the spider. We could just pull its legs off, though. There you go. Don't say I don't give you anything. I still can't lobotomize it, even with the war crimes mod. Practice surgery, we can induce an artificial coma. We still can't lobotomize it. I guess spiders just don't have brain. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I have an idea. What if we go Joywire plus AI chip? The AI chip stops their consciousness dropping below 100%, and the Joywire will give them the mood buff. Although I'm not sure the Joywire will give them a... <laughs> <laughs> Enough of a mood buff in hindsight. <laughs> Maybe that will do it. There you go. AI chip and Joywire is done. As Confucius quite famously said, if you can't see the war crimes, can you be sure they're really happening? 15% <laughs> negotiability from each uh, each eyeball there for a total of 120% bonus to negotiation. I guess we've got ourselves a new trader then. Oh, oh, Pratt. No longer incapable of walking. Well, we better change that. Stanislav, you too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, to reiterate then, what are we missing for the final parts of our animal museum? We are missing a single dragon from the race to the rim mod, that being the Fury, I think they're called. We are missing a total of eight Joruses, including the very difficult Void Joris. We've got all the other rare Jorises besides that. From the Dragon's Descent mod, now with the addition of Admiral Judith, the Void Dragon, we are only missing the Jade slash Silver slash Gold Dragon. They're all the same tier of Dragon. They're all worth the same amount. Uh, so, so one of those three, the Harbinger Dragon, and that's it, right? Yeah. Jade Dragon and Harbinger Dragon. For a total of about 11 animals we need to finish the entire museum. Of course, in the background, we're working on our genetic rim stuff. I won't put so much emphasis on that. If we get the achievement, that would be incredible. Um, but the real big thing is definitely going to be getting those dragons. Are you an actual... I'm going to ask if you're an actual polar bear then. Then the big final goal. Our true win condition will be wiping out Peter. The elders, those who use their, their powerful mind control abilities to use our animals to kill their oppressors. Uh, on, on paper, they seem very noble. Uh, they are a right pain in the ass, and they killed Burger. And for that, I will never forgive them. So today... We're going to engage Operation Overkill. And I'm fully aware of the irony of saying that when we've got <laughs> well, this shit going on. A lot of the raids we've had recently have been pretty devastating, I think it's fair to say. The, the, the Elders, of course, are hideously powerful. But pretty consistently since that first Elder Raid, we've lost a vital member of the colony, one of our founding members, every single raid after that. So Operation Overkill is going to be fairly straightforward, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll probably just about do it. Come on, you big bitch. Void Joris. No! Now, part two of the somewhat disturbing comment section suggestions today include forcing Martinius to age rapidly so that we can grow him. As I've mentioned before, the dragons become more powerful the older they are. So if we can find methods of growing the dragons, that's obviously fantastic. Now, there is Draconic Ambrosia, uh, which is this kind of rare item that when consumed will age them rapidly we've got some somewhere good luck finding it ah there it is draconic ambrosia dragon will age from it due to their unique organ the fundamentum being able to properly process the drug can you just sit there and like chug the lot can you just sit there and go mad oh look there it is draconic aging ah two days three days four days okay okay how long does it last though well, why don't we keep an eye on it? When, when don't we just take it? So that was about about two hour, one hour on the uh, 1 a.m. on the 3rd of December. We can set up on a schedule. So he takes it on a schedule so that he's got the rapid age. But there's also an item that these guys sold us. Uh, this thing here, the Psychic Aging Lance. Now, I'm not going to risk using that while Martinez is already under the effect of uh, the rapid aging. When that's finished, we'll try the uh, Lance after that. So the Draconic Ambrosia takes about five hours to go from you know, being taken to, to not having an effect anymore. In theory, then we could do it five times a day. Uh, sorry, four times a day. But I'm gonna set it to two times a day. 
just to take into account time spent sleeping, combat, running around, whatever that extra is. I don't want to waste any because this stuff seems really hard to come by. That's already fine. No, it will only take him a few days to get through the supply even with that. Activating artifact. Here we go. Let's try the aging lance now. Assuming Martinez doesn't run away too fast. Uh, 1,337 and 15 days. Apparently, it does work through wars. There you go. 1,737. Holy crap. That's quite a good sight. A little Power Rangers coming out here to gun down a bunch of cows. Just 8 p.m. We're going to come out here and kill some guinea pigs, eh? We've already got all of these, haven't we? Uh, oh, my God. That's a Fury? That is definitely the one we need, isn't it? Hang on. Uh, Race of the Rim. Fury, Gronkle, Nada, Nightmare, Zippleback. Maybe it's a Gronkle we don't have then. Oh, shit. Well, I set them to hunt that without even thinking about it. So maybe we'll, um, <laughs> maybe we'll swap over there. I could have sworn we already have one of those. Razor Whip. We've seen one before, definitely, for sure. Weird. I thought we already had one. Maybe I'm going crazy. Okay, Martinius then. Uh, do me a favor. Oh, well, in the morning, do me a favor. Get him. Get him right now. Join me. That was it. Holy shit, there we go. Welcome to Burke. I've never seen How to Train Your Dragon, so I don't know what that means. But we've got the achievement. That's the important thing. And that completes our set for the How to Train Your Dragon Dragons. Very nice. How many achievement points? That's 75. Holy crap. That's a lot of Jaruses. Another one. Block Jaruses. We've already got Block Jaruses, right? Down on this side somewhere. Yep. Okay. You can die. Oh, Jovid Bowie. Get out of here. Jarl of Rivia. I'm pretty sure we have a... Yeah, we have a Jarl. For God's sake. <laughs> yes, it is legal to hunt sentient polar bear pickles with a minigun. I don't know where you're from, but here, yeah, this is this is the land of freedom. We've also got a Thrumfalo. I need to stop making these bloody thrombo crossbreeds. This is too much. Hey, there we go. And then into the bioreactor with you. Very nice. So we've got another bioreactor for the Harbinger Dragon and another bioreactor for the Jade slash Gold slash Silver Dragon. And then we are done with our dragon collection. And then another vat there for a true dragon, which of course is Martinius. So we won't be uh, we won't be putting him in that vat. But that will that will be every single dragon we've wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to buy a griffin, actually. Thank you. Oh, shit. An Elder Jade Dragon. Ah! Um, right, I'm gonna have to see what happened here. <laughs> uh, Elder Jade Dragon attacked after being harmed. Well, I didn't harm it. I guess it tried to hunt Sorsha and then Martinis came in and bopped it. I think if it's a, if it's a one on one melee fight, I think Martinis has got this in the bag. Then all we've got to do is don't kill it. For fuck's sake. We've never seen one of these before, and chances are we will never see one of these again. Piss off. Okay, okay. Move it to Martinius. I think he's got this. What a battle. Wow. This is incredible. Please don't kill it, though, because I, I will actually straight up cry. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Right. You guys, fuck off. Katala, stabilize. Oh, my God. I immediately got up and started hunting John. Hey, you're going in a bioreactor if you're not careful. What should we do with it? Let's, let's rescue it for now. Get it indoors where where what it can attack is very minimized. We still haven't tamed that uh, royal thrombo, by the way. I should mark the dragons that we need on the finder in case something like this happens again. Animal discovery then. Oh, we've got so many since I've last updated this. Uh, let's not worry about that for the time being. I'll, I'll sort that in a minute. Let's go ahead and add. Oh, God, there's so much. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. We just got the achievement for all of the medieval era research at long last. Sorry, industrial. Industrial. That would be, be kind of silly if it was in just medieval era. Well, I went to go and get myself a drink, and by the time I got back, it turns out Martinius has somewhere here uh, successfully, there we are, tamed an Elder Dragon. 25% chance. Not called Elder Jade Dragon 1. Fortunately for you, that does mean that you... Oh my god, he absolutely messed it up though, didn't he? <laughs> Uh, fortunately for you, that does mean that your the rest of your existence is going to be from the inside of a tube. One shot, one kill. Have... Wh what? Have a pawn... What? Someone in combat? We've got hunting going on, but... I didn't realize anyone's actually out there hunting right now. Rambo? Oh, that seems very appropriate. Hey, good shit. And then it is also worth noting, we should have really expected this to happen. Grump's sapience has dropped to the point that no longer considered a full colonist. 
to be expected, really, that the creature who's uh, constantly laying eggs and then we are constantly killing uh, is not particularly pleased about that situation. Oh, and the one thing I forgot to mention as well, somebody pointed this out in, in Discord, I think it was, all the comments, one or the other. They said that the reason Marge most likely died is because of the... Well, in RimWorld, of course, there's an instant chance that anything that goes down will just die. Chances are Marge took so much pain from the repeated damage that she dropped. That's why her neck was still, what, 331 out of 342. So the neck wasn't destroyed. She just took so much pain, she went down, and then she died from that because maybe she was considered a colonist. Depending on the difficulty and the storyteller you're using, that is, a, is affected by that as well. We're playing on Phoebe Savage? We might be on a slightly lower difficulty now. I don't remember. No, no, we're playing on Phoebe Savage. Um, so that will have had an effect on on Marge's insta-kill. Or at least that's the working theory. Jesus Christ, I wonder what that was then. We got a freezer full of sound striders. Come on. Come on. End this game. <gasps> Joris Arod Arod Joris Arod What did it came up with that name? 6.1% chance for a Joris Rog? God damn. I guess it's twice as hard as a regular Joris on account of it <laughs> having two heads. We've well, got a hunting dragon somewhere. Hello. Uh, oh my god! What's actually the one we need? Can I get here? No path, no path, no path. I blocked it up, you moron. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then we're, then we're done with dragons. No, 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 we're not done with dragons. What else do we need? Wait. Wait, are we done with dragons? Get it. Get it. Talking to the Harbinger dragon about drunkenness. Come on. 31% chance. Oh, shit. Well, look, we can just beat it to death and then get it like we did with the Jade Dragon, right? 649. That's how I'm choosing to judge this dragon combat. Now, Martinez is 1,777. Now that we've got him on a pretty strict schedule of uh, Ambrosia. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, please. I'll cry if you kill it. Because we are never going to see one of these again. Okay, okay, okay. And rescue. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, rescue's fine. Tala, let's get you stabilizing it. No! Get out of here! Fucking hell. Oh, boy. It's a bad day to be grump. Oh, there's 12 of them? <laughs> no, 14. If I don't see an instrumental break from this, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be pissed. Slaughtering Feralisk 13. Uh, you know, we could say all of the Feralisks. Uh, where are they? Hey, go and- go to, like, the animal... Is this one? Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, it's a massacre. It's a massacre. How are you feeling now, Grump? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, if anything, they're probably going to be lining up for the lobotomy. What are we lacking for medical torture tools? Cloth? I have started growing cloth because we needed it for something else as well. 56% grown. Boom, there it is. Harbinger Dragon 1, and then you can go to the Dragon Bio that area. Oh, he actually got it! 6.1% chance of the Joris Arog as well. Okay, let's get you over to Section Joris. Seven more Jorises. Right, and that's this one entirely filled up, so if we want to buy over any more animals beyond this point, we're going to have to either build a new area, or swap out some of the lower tier ones for higher tier creatures. Ah, uh, shit, I don't think we can tame that. We might be able to kill it. Oh, hang on, is there not an achievement in Alpha Animals for this Summit? Summit Crab. Kill a gargantuan Summit Crab before it pulverizes your whole colony. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. John's firing his tremors off there. Let's get Martinius up if that's not too much of a... Will he get instantly crushed? Because I think this thing has a special mechanic, doesn't it? That, that, that makes it... Yeah, crushing everything on its path. I'd rather not risk it. We've knocked it down. Well, all we've got to do now is finish off the job, right? That's it. Hey, there we go. An incredible amount of disdain for these people. I hate them all. Why? I don't understand how these bioreactors work. They are perfectly fine bioreactors, as evidenced by the fact they're happy to put them in afterwards. It's because they're not connected to power. Well, no, because... I mean, no, no, they're connected to power, sorry, I should say. They're, they're not refueled. Come on. I have faith. Fresh Joruses. Here we go. Watch this. Boom. Joris 1. Damn you. We... <sighs> It goes through cycles. Have you noticed that? I've given us like the same Joris over and over and over. Having not seen, we've never seen that Joris before. And then in one episode, we got two in the same, well, back to back. Here we go. Here we go. It's obviously not mathematically impossible, just extremely unlikely. No, we don't need you either. Please. Please. This is my last point. Please. No. Bloody Johnny the Hedgehog again. I have to appreciate the magic fox building munitions and then the pig taking them away. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, this is coming along swimmingly, but for the time being, we're going to say maybe just two rows of rockets on every entrance. Then we'll expand out beyond that point later, because this is taking a staggering amount of time. An absolutely staggering amount of time. So we've completed all of the standard animal hybrids. We've only got the thrombos and the mechanoids left. We had three total failures, so three aberrant flesh beasts, rather than what we wanted to breed. Now I've got to try and sit here and figure out what the hell we're missing. It's got bear chicken, bear mole, uh, bear elope, and bear cat. Okay, so we need to make a... Let's go to this one then. You know what? I might remove everything from the gene pod and we're just focusing on getting bears done to start off with so we need bear wolf and bear muffalo now bear in mind there are two combinations of each so that could be a muffalo bear rather than the bear muffalo that i want but that's okay have we already got like say bear muffalo in the muffalo section do we have a muffalo section uh oh no wait muffalos aren't a crossbreed are they no they are they are bear muffalo 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 bear right okay so we got a muffalo bear but not bear muffalo oh my head uh, first one hatched into a wolf bear, which we've unfortunately already got. So we'll make another wolf bear. I assume they're all 50-50. Oh my god, we got another muffalo bear too. Get out of here. Nice. There we go. Bear wolf. Right. Let's get you over to bear hybrids. And what about the other one? Oh, bloody muffalo bear again. Okay. Third time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm. How many times have we tried this now? Too many. Activity. Lobotomizing. Grump, this is for your own good. If anything, Grump probably volunteered because this is not okay. Goodbye, Grump. What happens if the surgery fails on a lobotomy? Oh, well, there we go. On a lobotomy, I was about to say. Nice. There we are. Uh, lobotomized. Pain is 0%. Consciousness, max of 50%. Affects memory. That's good. Social interactions. Global learning factor minus 200%. Mental break threshold minus 100% as well. Mood. Lobotomized plus 500. Perfect. That's peak. That's peak war crimes. We turned one of our human beings into a sentient spider. We forced it to lay eggs to slaughter, to crossbreed with other animals. Uh, and then we, the spider was so upset by everything that happened, we lobotomized it so we couldn't feel a thing. Yeah. Oh! No! For fuck's sake! John! I'm not even sure what you destroyed there, John! Oh! Where is it? I assume that means we got it then. There we go! Hey! A bloody long time. The good news is we haven't got to worry about any more bear hybrids. Except for the other five categories that all have a bear hybrid. <laughs> so for the muffalo, we need boomalope, chicken, feline, and rodent varieties. Hey, there we go. There's one down already. The hell are you people doing down here? The way the dragons hunt creatures with their breath attack. Brilliant. Oh my god, there's a beefy to Joris. Well, I guess that kind of makes up for the amount of pods that we've called in today that, uh, has not really worked. 92% <laughs> chance. Very nice. Oh my god, they just sell true dragon eggs? 9,003. That's not even that much money, given that we're sitting on 64,000 silver. Wow. Oh no, not Feralis 34. Poor Grump is going to be absolutely devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Just buy a bunch of animals and slaughter the lot, though, couldn't we? Could we? Yeah, we could. Why not? Give me that. 37,000 this cost me. Oh, my God. The sentient house cats. <laughs> wow, this is dark. <gasps> Moribund Galatros. Whoa. Um... What is a moribund Galatros? Oh, that's horrible. It is worth noting that the moribund Galatros doesn't count towards the uh, the achievement. It doesn't count towards having tamed a legendary Galatros. I assume that's because it's moribund and not young and spry. That's a bit annoying. I'm counting it as a Galatros. I mean, it is Galatros. It's just a Galatros that's going to drop down dead any minute now. <laughs> I wonder if there is actually a mechanic that makes it just curl over and die. Maybe we should get into a biovat fast rather than messing around. Hmm. It might be time to cull some animals because this is not running too happily anymore. <laughs> oh, damn it. We've already got one of those again. I've taken the executive decision to put Sigma Draconis and Sideshow into the biovat, so the Nebula Dragon and then the, the other fancy dragon. Basically, I want to keep the dragons out that have the combat abilities, the ones with the Molten Breath and Void Breath, specifically just because that will uh, that will obviously help out a bit more if we're ever under attack. So we've got active. I, I bought a bunch of Draconic Jarruses. Four were being sold. 
So those are kind of dotted around the base in various biovats or whatever. That's specifically for the achievement when we get Daenerys Bombarian. Morbo and Galatross are now ready to go in a vat. So let's get that moved in right now. And then we've got, in terms of active animals, then we've got Judith, Keith, Squig, the Animal Warg, a Nyx Ox, which we just bought. Let's go ahead and uh, biovat you as well. A Feralisk. You can die. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas L. Bradford, Sorsha, Hoopy, Bacon Bits, back to do this. So we, we, we've only got about a dozen animals active right now. One thing I didn't mention that I thought we'd just kind of, you know, get it done is the uh, is a monument for the Empire to ally with those guys so we could get some we could get some customers to our Animal Museum. People who are actually capable of buying some tickets. There we go. Monument complete. They gave us 117 gold, but we've gone from... Uh, we've, we've gone back to plus 12 on the goodwill. So that was a huge amount of goodwill. I thought given that we're getting our ass handed to us pretty consistently by every raid we have, probably in no sport part thanks to playing on Phoebe, but we've lost a founder every single episode or at least eight episodes in a row now. I don't want anything happening to anyone else. I'm happy to keep everyone as they are. Thank you. I thought the empire would be the last of our, uh, the last of the things that we want turning up fighting us at this point. I mean, I haven't got room for any more bloody vats. I need more vats. <laughs> I always need more vats. How many vats have we got in total now? Well, look, we've got 191 animals and only about 10 of those are active. So we've got to have about 180 vats. Oh, my God. God, we got a muffalo chicken and a muffalo cat in the same two incubators. Well, obviously not in the same two. I meant consecutively. Does it look like it's got a ball gag to anyone else? No? So close to getting another section done. And not to not to finishing everything. That'll <laughs> that'll take a very long time. Don't be ridiculous. What are we lacking? Muffalo bear, muffalo wolf, muffalo well, muffalo, muffalo boomalope, muffalo cat, muffalo chicken, muffalo rodent, muffalo bear, wolf. Yeah, rodent. Right. Oh, that's a good sign. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. Now all you got to do is give me a give me a fresh Joris. Give me a fresh Joris. Come on. That's not what I was hoping for. That's incredible, but really not what I... I suppose we do need it for the vat, don't we? Martinius, come and pull the wings off of this angel. <laughs> Are we the baddies? I think we might be the baddies. Wow. That's kind of mad that completely without direction, he put it in exactly the right bio, that. Boom. There you go. I'll take it. I mean, look, it's not the one that we wanted, but it's certainly better than to get a duplicate of something we didn't need to put in here. Final one then for the central section, the high... The, the high security Joris is the Void Joris. <laughs> oh, these new turrets are a little bit too powerful. Um, so I put down some new turrets, by the way. Uh, what do you think? Was it like here? I don't know. Uh, either way, we need to put down sandbags on either side of that. Uh, put down some of these uh, steel heavy turrets. They're relatively cheap. They have a minimum range, but when you're behind sandbags, obviously it doesn't matter. Um, with all the ingredients I got back from cancelling half of the rocket launchers. So we've got that built there. This is now defended. We moved the entrance here, but obviously we need to do some more defenses there. I've started them building. Oh, they're on it now. Starting them building some more turrets down here. So for the wolves, we've got wolf elope, wolf bear, wolf cat. We need wolf rodent, wolf something and something, something. <laughs> Chicken, rodent, muffalo. Chicken, rodent, muffalo. If we could... If we could finish all the genetic stuff today, my God, I'd be so happy with that. I don't know what's happening with our raids. I feel like we haven't had a single raid today. Oh, well, a summit crab. That really count as a raid? I suppose so. Oh, hello there. That's right. Red goo. Also, I suppose I did actually buy a <laughs> general grievous. Yes. Oh, I don't think we've got an animal muffalo, do we? It's like a big, horrible green buffalo. I love it. Wolf beaver. Oh, we don't have a wolf beaver. A fresh one. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Nice. The other one can die horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Feed it a lavish meal. We're about to chuck it in a... No. Stop that. Oh, my God. They've got so many Jorises, but I don't think they've got any of the ones that we need. Wolf chicken. We need that one. Why are these buffalo wolves... So impossible to get. This is genuinely the seventh one. I've moved on to working on working on rodents now because fuck this wolf. Well, don't, but the sentiment is. That is a squirrelope and a mole bear now complete. And muffalo wolf to finish the set. Hey, there we go. My God, I thought it was impossible. That explains why they're not hunting anything over here, you idiot. I accidentally built the fence too high. Chicken rabbit, chicken rabbit, chicken rabbit. Boomer cat. Those are boom. 
Uh, chicken rabbit. We don't have a chicken rabbit. So we didn't get the one that we wanted, but we got the alternate version, which is fine. And obviously, as we work through more and more, we're going to get the alternate versions, and it's going to be quicker as we progress. The hardest one was this one, is what I'm getting at, or the one that we started with. Do you think I was looking in completely the wrong area? Cat follow? Cat chicken? Yeah, I was. It's okay. We still don't have the, uh... The rabbit chicken, though. Got ourselves a beaver wolf. I have started doubling up on all of the incubators just to try and save a little bit of time when we've got these spare genetics, and I am killing absolutely everything on the map, so it is quite slow. <laughs> now we're moving on to chicken bear, chicken boomalo. The game is really, really not doing well. <laughs> really, really not doing well. Oh, look at that thing. Rabbit chicken one. That's all of our chickens complete then. Finish the chickens before we finish the bloody rodents. What are we missing? We're missing chicken... Chicken rodent? Right? Rabbit chicken one. Rabbit chicken. No, no, no. That's rodents. That was the rodent achievement. Ah, uh, Past problems. Yeah. Get all the six tier one rodent hybrids. Right. Got it. My bad. Boom, boom up chicken. Is that the final chicken one we're missing then? Because we've got the, got the bear chicken somewhere. Well, I saw it a second ago. I don't know where it's gone now. Uh, we've got chicken rabbit, chicken wolf, chicken flow, chicken cat, chicken bear. All we need is a chicken lope. Hey, there we go. Holy shit. We've got both of the... <laughs> both of the creatures that we wanted from those final incubators. And we have our chicken achievement. Because, I'll be honest, I'm fucking sick of all this chicken shit. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Don't slaughter them both. Good God. It was just instinctive at this point. <laughs> hey, a paragon. <laughs> what am I looking at? It's apparently a paragon hare. You have a lot of terrible sense of humor in the scientist. This creature lays edible chocolate eggs. Nope, I'm okay. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone who would make aberrant flesh beasts a possible outcome from incubators. Gotta throw that thing down here where I don't have to look at it. Boomer bear. We need that. We need that. We could potentially here finish boomalopes as well in one fell swoop. That's not good. That's a muffalo. Why is there combat music? Hello? Daedra Summoning Stone. I bought one of those earlier and it disappeared. So I'm going to buy this one and keep a very close eye on it. I've got three of the Teprins coming in as well that we don't have yet. Should we use that one? We could free Grump from their lifetime of misery. Bear in mind, we are almost done with... We are almost done with Genetic Rim now. Well, at least for the uh, for the Get This Animal achievements. We've only got the Boomalopes and the... Uh, the cats left to go, of which there are only four cats and two boomalopes. So remember, we have to use the Daedra Summoning Stone on a colonist, which is... Careful there. Which is why we haven't ever used this thing before. I'm hoping it'll work on something we've transformed. It absolutely will. Oh, God. Well, we got a hunger out of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Grump. Your days have ended, my friend. Transformed into a... Or soul trapped anyway inside this... Horrific hunger. You're welcome. It's the kindest thing to do. They had been they had the most tragic story out of any remote character we've ever had before. Oh, another failed attempt. There's another one to very carefully dispose of. Let's start working on the cats then. I've I've got a couple lined up there too. We've got Boomalo Muffalo, Boomalo Wolf, uh, and Boomalo Muffalo again. So let's go. We've got the cat fellow and the cat chicken. So we need bear, boomalo, uh, wolf. And something else. Uh, come on. Come on, this is it. I, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. How can this take so long? Wait, we've already got Nurse Boomer Bear. I just... Ugh. No. No. Are these even in the game? Help me, Smiley Monkey. No. No. <laughs> bear Cat. Bear Cat? Bear cat. No, no, no. We don't need a bear cat. Uh, no, we've got a bear cat. Kill that one. What was the other one? What was the other one? Cat rabbit. Cat rabbit. Do we need a cat rabbit? No, no, no. We, we, we've got a cat rabbit. Wait. Wait, we don't have a cat rabbit. Nope. 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 They don't exist. They, they, they are not in the game. I'm sorry. There are only muffalopes. There are no boomfalos. They don't exist. Well, they might exist in this one. Prove me wrong. Go on. Prove me wrong. I dare you. Oh my god, they do exist. All we need left is boomalope, wolf, cat, bear. A, a combination of that. Because we need cat, bear, cat, boom, cat, wolf. And then we also need boom, wolf. But we've already included both those in the cat. So everything else we can just mulch down into the recombinator, right? So we don't need chickens. We don't need muffalos. We don't need reptilian. Uh, we don't need rodents anymore. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm almost tempted to throw away thrumbo. 
We do have five thermo, apparently. Get rid of them. Let's just make even more incubators. Uh, uh, I... Oh, a raid. How quaint. Well, that deals with that. No, they are actually attacking from all sides here. Uh, this side, we've got the heavy turrets, so I'm not too bothered there. This side, we've apparently got Judith. Uh, what I was going to say is more heavy turrets. So this is uh, it's a bad day to be... Well, these guys, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but it seems to be working. <laughs> How's Judith getting on? Well, Judith is stopping that side. The rockets ended them pretty thoroughly. Martinius is holding the wall. These guys are getting annihilated by the turrets. Overall, easy raid. That's what we should have done in the first place. What was wrong with me? On the plus side, this will bring in a huge amount of new genetic material because we can take all the humanoid genes and, well, those that weren't, immediately wiped from the face of the earth we take these guys and we can differentiate them down into hopefully a cat is that how that works and the reason my friends i wanted our defenses tested was because we are secretly in the background here while i've been waiting for every incubator oh god speak of the devil we have been working on the arco tech Sensp project the win condition because we are so close to finishing our perfect animal museum that the, the, the obvious win condition, of course, is with the Arcotech Centipede. So it occurred to me that we actually need one of each genetic material for the centralized genetic reposi repository. That's why I was changing... Uh, what, what was that animal that just hatched? Another fucking bear cat. That's why I wanted to change what we were recombining. Just so that we didn't end up, you know, nerfing ourselves for the long-term goal. Bear wolf we don't need. Uh, a boomer cat kitten. A boomer cat is a boomalope plus a cat. We don't need that one. Ooh. We finally got it. Oh, and we got two at once again. Loves doing that. There we go. Okay. Our boomalopes are now complete. So our final one to tick off are the cat hybrids. Cat bear. Cat bear. We need a cat bear. Cat boomalope, cat wolf. That's it. That's all that's on us back from victory. That and the Jorises. But the Jorises can wait. Void Joris. Oh, <gasps> Joris, what lives in a society? We don't have you. Live in a society now, my friend. A society of fellow fish people. This one's a void Joris. No. Incubator, wolf, cat, puppy. Don't need you. Void Joris. Fat Jory. Void Joris? Don't fucking look at me. Catalope. 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 That's a cat. So all that's left then is, in theory, wolf, cat. Could we be 26% of the way to victory? Come on. Free me. It's been eight hours. Cat, wolf, cat, puppy, cat something. Is that a fucking joke? I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care at this point. I'm beyond caring. I trade this entire base for a cat that's also a dog. Including you, Katala. Maybe I could just turn you into a dog. Maybe that will count. I... I can't. I can't play. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm just gonna go bust. I give up on RimWorld. <gasps> it's over. I can go to bed. 3 a.m. I started recording today at 2 minutes to 8 p.m. Uh, 1958, for those of you working with weird clocks. Get it in the vat. Get it in the vat. No, where is it? Show me. I can't read anymore. Gur genetic rim. There it is. Look. Look at them. And with that, and with that, I am free. We are done. Yes! Get out of here. No, we don't need all the thrombo or the mechanoid hybrids. There's only an achievement for making uh, making one of those. Now the question is, can I end this bloody series before some new achie achievements are added in? <laughs> so the final piece of the puzzle then. Four Jorises. Generis Bombarian. Void Joris. The Four-Legged Uni Joris. And Colonist Joris. We'll complete our Joris collection. Then all we need is the Arcotech Centipede. At which point, I will march this... 
I will march Martinius, I will march a biblically accurate Joris, Mecha John, and their Power Ranger friends into the base of the Elders, and I will kill every last one of them. I will wipe them from this earth. The earth will not remember the Elders. We will do it with the power of this here centipede. To do that, we need a bunch of genetic materials. We need a bunch of cryofuel, which you get from Boomalopes. Uh, so I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. Boomfalos? Boomfalos? Boomalopes? I think it's the Boomfalo, but don't quote me on that. It's been a long time since we played Genetic Rim. I'm gonna crack open a cold one with the boys. I'm gonna tag it. I'm gonna capture some people. We're gonna go out raiding. We're gonna capture some prisoners. We're gonna transform them into Boomalope Buffalo hybrids that I'm then gonna use... I'm gonna age up. We'll make some age drugs. And then we're going to use them to uh, fuel the end of this earth. Outstanding. Absolutely incredible. Quite the life achievement. Collecting a bunch of virtual animals. <laughs> Thank you in the meantime, of course, to the patrons for making this series possible in the first place. You may think right now I'm stalling time to try and work out where the hell my patron lists have gone to. Uh, you would be mistaken. They're quite clearly right here. And by here, I mean, um... Ah, here they are. Sorry, I, I was thinking of the right thing, but just in the wrong place. Thank you to Hottie Sphinx, Chicken, Altari, Fukuna Vasquez, Orcs Chops, The White Fox God, Hobo Billy Joel, Dranmere, El Chalupa Cabra, Mathanius, Carmen Copeland, Esidus, Inked Sphinx, and Bondollar. Well, that's support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you to you guys, without which I wouldn't be able to sit here for nine hours a day, not including editing and uploading. <laughs> to make a single episode, and I've got four other episodes I've got to record to go up tomorrow as well, so that's... Um, Something. It's five. Oh, God, there's something else as well. Thank you in the meantime to other people, including Zerato, Flight Gamer, Magister Militant, Catlord, Fatigable, Lunatic, Thura, Wide Riot, Plumby, JC Sly, 91, Seppi, 141, and finally, the other 18 COVIDs.